something I've been dreading since, I mean, not dreading have to speak of, but really just living in. Um, the passing of our assistant coach, Dayan Milojevic, Deki, um, as he's known to most. Um, man, just honestly, not many words. Uh, I think, um, you know, just send love to Decky's family. Uh, <clears throat> his friends, uh, players like myself that had the opportunity to play for him. Um, All those that were touched and affected by him, um, there's not a way you didn't have a positive experience if you were if you had any um, contact or connection or spent time with or played with or, or coached by. It's no chance you didn't have a positive experience. Um, if your life had been touched or graced with the presence of Decky, always smiling, always had the same energy, like no matter what, uh, just always had that, like just a good vibe and presence. And, um, you know, when you spend your life, like as a, as an athlete, as a professional athlete, um, in the NBA, like you spend so much time together, uh, whether that's on the planes, um, games, practices, road trips, like you name it, you spend so much time, um, with the people in that locker room. And because you spend so much time with those very people, you see the good, the bad, and the ugly, like, of everybody. Like, because you're going to, like, we all have bad days. And so you're going to see the greatest days. Like, you're going to see the highest of highs. You're going to see the lowest of lows. Uh, throughout the course of a nine months, like, if you imagine nine months of your life, like, and what goes on in your life over the course of nine months, like, that's the amount of time we spend together each year, like a lot of time within those nine months. And so if you imagine the things that you see, like you see the best and you see the worst when doing this job. And um, Clay said one of the most interesting things to me, uh, we just sat down, we played dominoes uh, on Wednesday in Utah. We were supposed to leave, we got stuck there. Um, miserable. It was like everything was just on a loop, you know? Like, then you come down the next day, you see everybody in the same clothes as the day before at the hospital, and it's just like, like, you live in this nightmare and can't escape anything. It was miserable. But Clay said to me, he said, man, when have you ever walked into the facility and been like, man, what's Decky on today? Like, because we all have our days, right? Like, I'm sure there are some days Clay walk in and be like, Dre on some bullshit today. And, like, it's some days we all walk in and be like, man, what is Coach on today? Like, everybody, because you see the best and the worst from everybody. Like, that's just the life we live. I don't know what the worst of Decky was. Like, he was always the exact same. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is bringing you, yes, an offer that'll help you win money in the NFL playoffs. New customers, bet five bucks. That's it. Five bucks. That's it. Five dollars. Any game. And get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Are you kidding me? I bet five. That's it. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. It takes 90 seconds and put in Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Easy peasy. New customers, five bucks. That's all you have to bet. And get $200 instantly in bonus bets only on the DraftKings Sportsbook. The code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. And the crown is yours. Always smart, super smart, smart as hell. 
joyful, just bring the best, like great energy. Stay out the way, but like you feel his presence. And he walk up to you, he shake your hand, hug you, smile. What's up, bro? Laugh. <laughs> like, and like that's what you got from Decky. And you couple all of that with the most brilliant basketball mind. It's just a special presence. And like, oh, that's great, right? But like, we lost such a great, incredible person. Great man. And being that close to someone, it hurts. Like, we here we are, Monday night. We haven't played a game since last Monday. Um, and our first practice was today. And, and, and it's it's crazy how it all worked out. Like the two games were canceled and like I'm thankful to the league for canceling those because I'm not sure how emotionally you can step out there on the basketball court. But yet there's another side where it's like sometimes the basketball court is our safe haven. Like it is our escape. It's, it is your way of losing yourself in the game. And And so it's just been a weird space to be in. In the same token, in that same breath, on Thursday when we finally made it back, I went to the gym to get shots up. And like in a 40-minute workout, I stopped and started talking to Jacob and and Lane like six, seven times just talking about Decky. And so then I realized right there like, dang, this court is not offering the escape that it normally does, how most of us use it in times of need where you, like, you hurt, you down. This court not really offering that escape. And I realized, like, every time I'm on the court, I'm stopping and saying something. Like, oh, yo, Decky. And it's just, it's tough. I saw one of the most incredible things today when we started off film. Um, Decky, again, for those of you that don't know, Decky is a legend in European basketball, FIBA basketball. Played with Partizan in Serbia. Big club, EuroLeague. Legend. Three MVPs in a row. Legend. He comes over here and act like he's no one. Like, eh, I'm just here up. I'm here to coach. Like, no. Legend. Up, I'm just here to coach. Uh, do his thing. Stay out. Like, act like he's none of that. So today we had the opportunity, but right before we started um, film or golden hour, what we call, ironically, Decky's team club that he played for, Partizan in, in, in Belgrade, Serbia, was playing against the team that he coached, Mega. Nikola Jokic, um, Tim- Timothy Luavu Cabarro, Cabarro. Um, the list goes on and on. That's where he coached most of those guys, at, with Mega. And ironically, they're playing today. Or they played earlier today. But we got to watch the tribute at the beginning of the game. And it was so powerful. It was incredible. The love that he had, the tears that would drop, the emotion, the chance, the amount of time they clapped, the amount of time they allowed the memorial to be. Then a moment of silence. Then they cheered again. All for Decky. They had a huge poster of him. They start lighting their flares. It was incredible to watch. 
Because when it's all said and done, you can only hope that you had that impact on someone. There's 20,000 people in those stands. It's incredible to watch, but it hurts. And so, um, he was a fun guy to play for, a straight shooter. You know, there's a little bit of a language barrier. So, so you getting it straight. Like, you know, sometimes people sugarcoat it or try to find a nice way to say it. Like, you getting it straight from Decky. Like, whatever he means, he's saying it. No, not pacifying anything. In the NBA, people are very careful on what, like, the things that they say players. Not Decky. Say the players. Not Decky. He going straight to it. And don't understand why you won't say it. Cause he going to, and um, we lost a special, special person, and it 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 hurts. Um, you know, I I feel for Steve, like coaching staff. Like every day, you got to walk in there and you got to see that seat. Like you know where he sits. Like I feel for them. Like, Kevon Looney, all of a sudden you're going on the court and you're working out with someone else, like Dario, Trace. Like, I feel for them. Because um, you'll be reminded of it every day. You know, like, we've lost people, friends, family, that you don't necessarily interact with every day. And so there's an escape from it. Like, this is every day. His family going to have to live that every day. And like, when legends go, the family don't necessarily ever get to live it down because the world never really let it go down, never really let it die down. And so I send my love to his family. Um, everybody lives he's touched. Um, I know how special it was. Um, to all his family and friends back in Serbia, fans, uh, we all took a a, a hit, big hit. Um, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, but I ultimately. Just praying and sending my love to his family.